Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to the Casual Puzzler to a video with a special guest. This hey! Is, <laughs> this is my husband. Uh, if you are new to the channel, he has been living up here in Washington for a couple months and we just got back from our Alaskan cruise yesterday and today I'm flying home and he's staying here. And I thought, while we have a moment, I would do a Q&A. So I asked on the Facebook group and on my Instagram. You guys came up with a bunch of questions and we're just gonna answer them. I'm nervous. <laughs> no, they're, they're all good ones. All right, so I, let me just pull them out. I wrote them all down. The first one, some are for me, some are for you, some are for, for both of us, okay? okay. So the, number one, how did you become a puzzler? I feel like I have always done puzzles, or I started off very young anyway. So I remember having like the wooden puzzles, like where it's like the big giant blocks. And then I remember winning a jigsaw when I was like three or four at like a Christian Bible camp type thing. Hmm. Um, and then my parents got me a ton for Christmas and then I would just like do them all the time. I definitely like, worn out my puzzles and like every I think it was every Monday it was puzzle day in my house and I would do every single puzzle that I owned I would just be like full, like wall to wall on the kitchen floor just like all of my puzzles out um, your mom must have loved you <laughs> and then I did um, a ton when I was younger when we moved to Maine we didn't have electricity so it was just a way for me to kill time I remember doing a ton of puzzles then and then I feel like when I got into probably like my late teens to probably when we started dating. I really didn't do too many, mostly because I was just so busy with school and all the clubs that I was in. Um, and then I really got back into it, like most people during COVID, when you had all this free time. So that's how I really got back into puzzles. Um, so yeah, there we go. We've done a couple on a couple of vacations. Yeah. Like when we went to Lake Tahoe, you did some. Yeah. When we went to Lake Tahoe, I did probably what, like four. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I didn't really own too many. I feel like it was mostly because we were moved so often that traveling with a bunch of puzzles just wouldn't have been a good idea. So, yeah. Uh, number two, a lot of people ask this, our favorite memory or favorite thing that we did on our trip. On this cruise? On this cruise, yeah. I really liked Glacier Bay. Yeah, Glacier Bay was really cool. It was where you, like, huh. you know, really cool <laughs> Sorry. we only ha they only ha allow one ship in at a time and only two per day so we were the first ship in you guys be there a couple hours they'd like rotate the ship and there was a lot more than like the one i thought there was only the one glacier but there was mm. like a ton of them there i think they said there were seven different glacier spots that you could go to that we yeah. traveled to the ones at the end were the biggest ones yeah the pacific something and Grand then and glacier. then the shoot I forget oh, the I other remember. name. We really paid attention. You'll have to put it in a comment. Yeah. I can't remember. Um, and then I really enjoyed Juno. Um, oh, yeah. Panning for yeah, Gold. Yeah, Panning for Gold. And then we went to the same bake, so that was fun, too. Is that really your favorite part of the trip, or was it making me get up and do the, the perfect couple game? <laughs> that, was, that was my favorite cruise shit moment. I feel like... She signed us up for this couples game <laughs> um, that was televised across the ship, mind you. Yeah. And uh, there were various adult physical challenges. Yeah, it was, it was funny. I really, you liked, you hated being up there, but you liked it afterwards because we, I almost felt like we were like cruise ship famous because we were couple number two. <laughs> it was fun. I liked it. Uh, you guys will hear more about that in the vlog that will come out. Question number three. How did you two meet? Um, I'm going to let you feel this one. <laughs> It's always an awkward question for us because we met when I was only 14 years old and he is 11 years older than I was. Um, but it was nothing romantic whatsoever. He was my music teacher's best friend. I was in a musical that he was helping with. So that's where we like initially met. Um, I had a huge crush on him. I was just the weirdo that was the kid who sat next to him in the band. Um, and it, we didn't actually start like talking and actually speaking to each other until I was, what, 20? So you were in your main? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, still until I was in college. And then we both thought it was weird. There was a big age gap. Now it doesn't seem like too much because we're a lot older and it doesn't seem as big. But at the time, we were both just like, this is weird. And then it was, it only gets weird like when we talk about, hey, do you remember this? Yeah. And you're like, yeah, I wasn't born. I was in middle school. And you're like, oh, that was me in college. So like when we look in our younger years, it seems a lot bigger. But now it really doesn't matter. So that's where we initially met, was at a musical between a friend. That's how, that's how we tell it, people. We met through a friend. Four, I heard you once say how you grew up without 
with no electricity. I would like to hear more about that. I think I might do a puzzle story time all about that. Um, I remember it a bit differently because I was so young when it happened. Um, my mom said it was only a year we had zero electricity, but we had a generator after that, but we still didn't have too much electricity during the day up until I want to say I was around 14 or 15. Um, I will have to get some dates with my mom, but yeah, when we first moved up to Maine, it was originally our cottage out like throughout my whole life. Um, and so we, I was used to like a couple weeks here and there where we would have no electricity. And then when I was six, we moved up to Maine. Um, and my parents just were sick of having a mortgage. They already owned the house in Maine. Um, they just wanted to get out of the city. So that's where we lived and we didn't have electricity. The house didn't have any insulation at the time. Running um, water. Running water. We didn't have running water for a long time. We had an outhouse. Uh, we The first year we just lived in the kitchen and living room because that was where the wood stove was. We also had a cooking wood stove as well. That's how we cooked all our food. And that was how we lived. Um, eventually we did get water into the house, but we had to go downstairs because it was gravity fed from the spring. And we had to get water get, get jugs and like bring it up. Um, so yeah, that's how I lived. Um, we had an outhouse and I will definitely tell you more about like the whole story once I do that puzzle story time because it really is like a long, I mean that was my child, whole childhood. So yeah. Um, next we have five, what are other places you have visited as a couple? So we did a trip to Western Virginia. Mm -hmm. We've done a round the Maine trip when we visited all of the 48 state parks in the state of Maine. Yeah. I feel like we did little bits of that. I feel like we've traveled pretty much our whole entire relationship. In some um, way, Even before. like when we were like very broke, we would just camp, you know, we would have a ton of camping trips. Mm -hmm. um, when we first got married, we did, um, for our honeymoon, was like, I feel like our first big trip, well, we did Virginia. And we did a couple like smaller trips, but we did a two week honeymoon in Orlando for Disney. Um, and then we traveled to across the country to move to San Diego. That was a week long road trip. Don't forget the Bahamas. Yeah, we went to the Bahamas. Um, Dave has traveled quite a bit for work. So he's been to Japan. Yep. And um, we've, we've traveled all over. We just went to Alaska. We just went to Alaska. Um, one of my main bucket list items is to hit all 50 states so I think I only have like 10 left or something like that and they're all in the middle of the country <laughs> yeah um, so we've we've traveled a lot um, we're actually even considering making a travel channel because I think that'd be really fun just to more like keep our, our memories separate from this this channel I don't want it to be like so much travel. yeah I feel like it's it might make the algorithm just seem like there's too much going on so I think I might do like a separate travel channel just to keep our travels in a its own spot. So makes sense. Yeah. Did we miss any place? Uh, we I don't know. We've done a lot. Hot Springs, Arkansas. Yeah. Well, I have two other questions that are in that question oh, number five. Is okay. favorite place that we've traveled to? I feel Lake like we, Tahoe was a very Lake chill Tahoe. vacation. Yeah. That was an awesome vacation. Yeah. We went off season. It was like May. Um, there was still snow on the ground. It was just like very remote and cut off like we didn't have cell service we just pretty much hung out and it was awesome did a couple puzzles yeah broke the puzzles. gondola up to the top of the mountain yeah it was fun yeah. um i feel like we have like a top five i would think so what's our next one i would say hot springs arkansas that was super chill. i i love that same thing like i feel like the vacations that are our favorite are the ones where we were like most relaxed yeah yeah I like the I like the Bahama trip mm -hmm. when we were on that resort. That one was cool. Uh, they had a lazy river, and it like it was I feel like pretty lengthy, like pretty it was lengthy. Pretty good. And so, but in the middle of it was this grotto with a swim up with, bar. That with a swim up bar, and then, like in the shade. So you'd like go in the lazy river, you'd swim into the grotto, refill your drink, and then go back out onto the lazy river. And that was that was rough. That was awesome. That was <laughs> that was we don't morning. need to tell the jet ski story. <laughs> oh, now that might be a story. No, I just feel like that's would get demonetized though. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, now you know everybody. I know. Around. They're going like, wait, what's the jet ski story? You can answer in the comments. Uh, no, that's way too long. Well, that's true. 
<laughs> you have the jet ski story. You can cut that whole part out. No, it's day. And now people are going to be like, Dave, what's the jet ski oh, story? Oh, I hate you. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Number six. My cat always liked to sleep under my chin. Do any of your cats Ooh. like to sleep on their human's head? <laughs> I feel like Ziggy used to wrap around your head when you slept. No, that was, was Mo. That, Mo. that was yeah. Mo. So Mo was Ziggy's litter mate that passed when he was 15. Um, mm. But no, none of them sleep on our heads, but they are sleeping on us. They sleep on they, you. On me. So like, I always feel Although bad. Every now and then I get log rolled. That's true. But so Dave goes to bed before me and I'll come in and I have like this whole entourage because all, all three, three cats, cats come follow. To bed with her. <laughs> um, so I'll usually have like an Oliver on my side or see, sometimes he's in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, Ziggy will be on my chest and Loki, even since he was a kitten, has slept under the covers in between my legs. So that's- Which makes rolling over top And it makes it very hot. <laughs> you can't move. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Seven, if you were doing a puzzle of a place you want to travel to, where would it be? Uh, Ooh. That's hard. I feel like we have so many travel Once. goals. <laughs> like we have so many travel goals. Um, Dang. Right? I'm like the world. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a tough one. It is tough. Because we were actually just thinking of even of our, our next cruise because we actually put down two deposits when we were on vacation. And I think we really are interested in going to Norway or Iceland. Um, mm. that would be really cool to see the Northern Lights and I, in general, it's just like a, I feel like we're not so much into like a tropical vacation and, and I don't know. I was just saying that I want to go on a Bahamas. Yeah, cruise. Southern, yeah, we do like the Bahamas <laughs> a lot. Um. Or Caribbean, I mean. Caribbean. <laughs> Although we were really talking about like Iceland. Yeah, Iceland. Uh, they have a couple right. Iceland cruises. There's also a cruise that goes to Antarctica, which is also very tempting. So. Just to say we've been there. Yeah, just to hit all seven continents. So we just, we, we like to travel. <laughs> um, eight, do you have any, do you have a cute first date story? You and Dave have such kind affection towards each other. It seems like you would have a fun story from the beginning. A <laughs> cute first date. Cute, cute first date. Um, so again, we were, there was an age difference for us and we were both very hesitant going into it. Um, so I was in college, he lived a couple hours south of me and so we put off our first date for a long time. Like we were talking every single day for months before we agreed to go on, a, on an actual date. That's um, true. I feel like we both were talking to like our friends about it. Like we were both just like, this is weird. Um, but I think we or at least, I remember having the conversation like, it's like, well, let's just do it. And if it doesn't work out, we'll just still be friends. Yeah. Um, so I went down to visit him uh, and we went to out to Chinese food. <laughs> and then to a movie. And went to a movie. Um, so very like dinner and a movie, traditional. Um, and then we went to a couple lighthouses. Yeah. Yeah. So that was our first date. Not, not super cute. Lighthouses. Lighthouses. Went to the ocean. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, nine. Does Dave have a hobby? What does he do while you puzzle? <laughs> A lot of times I'll play on my PlayStation while she's out in the kitchen puzzling. Yeah. Um, but not always. Yeah. Sometimes my cell phone. He's, he's a gamer. I am. Yeah. Not super though. I don't have like a rigged out PC. That's true. He's a casual gamer. Huh. I'm a casual Casual hustler. gamer. Uh, nice spin on the name. <laughs> uh, 10. Favorite puzzle brand. And do you have thoughts on Ravensburger and Buffalo quality? Um, favorite puzzle brand right now I think is New York Puzzle Company. Um, I am someone who really likes whimsy cuts. They have some that are whimsy, but not too crazy. Um, they have nice thick pieces. They stick together really well. So probably that may be my favorite brand at the moment. Um, and then Ravensburger and Buffalo. Ravensburger I like. It wouldn't be my favorite just because there's so much puzzle dust. And I know that's like something minor. I could sift through it, but it just kind of has like that gritty texture. But the puzzle quality is nice. Like I really like it. Um, and I, I, they have a, a good variety of images, so I do like them. I just don't like how dusty they are. Um, as Buffalo games, I mean, they're inexpensive, and I feel like for the quality, it's pretty good. Um, they're a bit thinner of pieces. I really haven't had any issues with them. Sometimes they, like, pill up on the, the corners, but, I mean, for the price point, it's like, what, $12 for a 1,000-piece puzzle, so. 
I will say, our cats like them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also will say, you can find a lot of Buffalo puzzles, at least near me, at thrift stores. So I can get a Buffalo game puzzle for like $5, or even they always have sales going on. So if you want to try it without like spending the full price, they usually have their puzzles like half off sometimes. So, yeah. Um, 11, favorite Disney attraction? Probably at Disney California Adventure. It would be um, Guardians? the Guardi Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Yeah. Which used to be uh, Tower of Terror, and yeah. then they rethemed it with Guardians. But that was always one of our, like, Go -tos. try to get to there first in the morning, mm -hmm. and usually rode it a couple times yeah. during the day. Yeah. Although, or soaring. We are most likely not renewing our Disney passes this year. Um, there's just a lot, like, I feel like we're not getting the full value out of it. Um, and we would just like to save money for another vacation, so. And they restructured their, uh, oh, their pass holder right. thing, which we're not big fans of. Twelve, how do you keep your cats off your puzzles in progress? She doesn't. <laughs> if you see all my videos, every single puzzle video has a cat on the puzzle at some point. Um, sometimes they're better than others, like where they maybe they only go on like once. Sometimes they're there the whole time and it's just frustrating. Um, but I feel like some things that help is like keeping an empty box nearby so they have like a go-to spot like I can be like no go there and so they have a go-to spot on the table. Um, that's, all, that's all I got for you. That's my, my one tip. <laughs> Often they're there right where she wants to be yeah. putting pieces Yeah. and Oliver many times will be reaching for her hand as she's going for the piece. Yeah. So, so I like empty box. Also, sometimes just pulling out a chair. So sometimes you will sit in the chair watching. Oh, he will. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. So, but I really don't have much success. Um, if it's like a puzzle that I'm leaving away, like I'm getting up and not present, um, I often will put like a piece of like a foam board on top. But sometimes that will make it slide. Oh, yes, because um, there's been a couple times where she's been gone, and. Often Loki and Oliver will chase each other, but usually mm -hmm. it's Oliver chasing Loki. And Loki will jump up on the table, and she has her puzzle there with a cover. Mm -hmm. And I've had a couple times where it's slide right off the other end of the table and puzzle all yeah. over the floor. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's always, a, <laughs> that's always a fun story when Emily gets home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think my new strategy is to put it on, like do the puzzle on foam board if it's small enough. And then just move the whole puzzle like somewhere else, like well, that's in the garage or on in the puzzle in room. The puzzle room. Yeah, I feel like they don't bother the puzzles that are on the table in that room. But also, I feel like it doesn't have much. It's as, not normally in their running path, right? Like right. the kitchen table is. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Thirteen. Do you keep busy to help with Dave being gone, or are you normally this active? Hmm. Uh, a little bit of both. <laughs> Um, I am definitely the one who initiates, like, hey, what do you want to do this weekend? Mm -hmm. um, I'm more the adventurer than he is, but it definitely does help while he's gone to just stay busy. Because if I'm home alone, just sitting there, like, I'm just going to be like, oh, Dave's not here. But if I'm out and doing stuff, sometimes I do wish Dave was there because I'm like, oh, Dave would really love this. But I, I don't know. Like just... a couple of your solo camping trips was the same way. Yeah. You're like, man, Dave would really love this park or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I am definitely one of my more adventurous of the two of us, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I have a couple more. 14, I missed you when you said you were going back to school. What are you going for? Um, so I think, so I'm going back for my master's. Uh, it's only like a year, just over a year long program. So it's not crazy, crazy. Um, I actually am going part-time for work, which I already did. Um, so that way I'm not as strung out as I was before, um, and I'm doing less classes per, um, per semester. But, oh, I'm going back to school. I think the I was say, I haven't said what my degree is. Um, so it's going to be new media and marketing communications. So it's pretty much kind of like public relations type of marketing. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Fifteen. How many puzzles are in your to-do pile? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I keep an Excel sheet, so I don't know Do the you? exact. Yeah, I, take, I, didn't yeah, know that. I keep an Excel sheet, um, and I want to say it's around eighty or so that are in my to-do pile that I haven't done yet. It might be more than that because I'm not sure if I have it up to date right now. But I think it's around eighty. <laughs> 
I did not know that, in case you couldn't tell by the expressions uh, on my yes. face. I, I will say, I got about 30 puzzles during the puzzle convention, um, so that definitely added to the pile, so, yeah. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then final question, why are you in Washington? To get away from Emily. Wow! <laughs> to get away from puzzles? No. No. I'm in Washington for work. Um, company that I work for uh, does engineering drawings for overhauls on destroyers for the Navy. Um, so I'm up here doing a, an avail in Everett, Washington. Yeah. So he's traveled quite a bit for work. So he's been to Hawaii, Japan, um, but this is the longest stretch away from me. We did do a, a little stunt in... Yeah, I haven't done any avails on the road except for Mississippi. Mississippi. But you came with me for right. that because that was going to be for a long time. A long time. Um, this one, what? Five months? Five months? Yeah, I think it's five months. Yeah. Uh, but this is the longest we've been separated. Um, I used to travel for ship checks. There was more travel for that. Yeah. But not avail support. It was a lot of travels. Like our first year that we moved to California. Oh, 2014 was all. He probably for ship checks. was out of. He was away from home. Would we say a third of the year? Yeah, I missed like every holiday. Yeah. Was almost gonna miss Christmas, yeah. but that. I ended up working out, but I stayed like home. He'd work like two weeks, could be home for two weeks, go out for two weeks. Like I, I feel like that's how it was for quite some time. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But I don't miss those days because that was seven days a week, ten hours a day. Yeah. I'd rather travel right. like this for an avail where I get weekends. Yeah. So. All right. All right. That is it. Those are all the questions. If you want to submit questions next time, make sure to follow me on Instagram or our Facebook group. Um, and then if I make a travel YouTube channel, I'll start leaving it places so you guys can go check it out. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. All right. All right. Thanks. Have Bye. a good day.